All right, we're going. Early cracked wall on 1-1. One, one. We'll get a blood chop here. It's not a bad blood chop. We have both uh, Torch of Walls and a Fireball spell. And uh, Trevor's just going to straight up buy them. In oh, there's a potion on this 1-1 one, one as well. Um, along with a uh, Ring of Protection in the red chest. Goof is going to use that uh, Blood Drum to get that potion. Something Trevor's going to be missing out on. It looks like Goof's waiting to see what's in those barrels based off what Trevor is doing. And both of our racers will be done with this floor, looking for the exit and headed on to one, two. So Goof already with a build advantage this early in the race could make a huge difference. Should see a lot of fireballs flying though from both of our racers. Armor on the one, two chest. It's a little safer for everyone. No one's gonna take the Shrine of Rhythm. I don't blame them. <laughs> A little early to be taking that one. And Goof with a uh, knife throw there to finish off the Minotaur. But Trevor down to one three first is going to open the black chest and finds uh, glass slippers. Not really the best of item you're looking for there, hoping for a good weapon. And Trevor just getting out of the way of this dragon, going to have to use a bomb and uh, does manage to take it out. Really uh, good to be keeping calm under pressure. Goof did ended up drinking their potion already, though, using that blood drum to take out the dragon. But Trevor's on to your zone one boss first. It's going to be Coral Riff, a quick dagger throw and fireball. Gets the flawless victory. We'll see a black chest check. Hoping for a better weapon. It's not really that great. It's a last whip. Um, <laughs> the four damage is nice, but that's not what we're looking for. We'll see if Goof takes it as well. He might just go purple, which he does do, and finds the Earth spell. So Trevor's going to have to try to push this four damage as quickly as they can. However, the whip gets snagged on a lot of items. Where Goof's going to be able to utilize these spells, the Earth spell, using it twice right away, and then the fire spell to... Uh, continue here but having to take a few hits Ooh, a map in a crate for trevor Ooh, and uh gonna use the shrine of space here and uh blow it up get the miner's cap and the shovel so it should be some quick scooting here looking in the shop and there's that titanium axe what all racers are looking for in a run and goof's probably gonna go back and get that as well you see him digging into that shop gonna eat some ham actually might just kill the shopkeeper here yep that's what's gonna happen a good shop to kill on. Oh, watch out for that explosion, Goof. <laughs> Takes a small hit there, but doing all right. Trevor's finding a Shriner here and is going to pick up the, uh, the Ghee. Whoa. Okay, yeah. <laughs> going back for that chain mail. And uh, does get the Ring of Peace, though. That's the, uh, the real grab there. It looks like Goof's is going to skip it here. Getting caught up by a big swarm at the exit. Gonna allow Trevor to go down to the zone two boss first. It's gonna be uh, Death Metal. And Goof taking a lot of hits before heading down the stairs to Death Metal himself. Flawless victory for Trevor. Probably be checking purple here, looking for a spell. However, we've seen most of the spells already. Uh, Goof's collected them. And Goof is gonna check and get that shield tome as well. And we'll be pushing on into 3 1. Has a golden dagger in the black chest. Both of our racers are gonna hard pass that and move on to 3 2. And you can see here how Trevor's going to be having a lot easier mini bosses to deal with. That's the advantage of the uh, ring of peace here. Down the trap door and on the 3-3. Goof shortly behind is going to find that same trap door. Probably going to kill, yeah, the mini boss here and then move on. Won't have to deal with that mosh pit. Oh, but Trevor taking a hit and going down from a black skeleton. Uh, coming in really strong there. Just a big swarm on 3-3. That's going to be an early death for Trevor. Don't want to show the replay yet, though, as Goof is not entirely safe sitting on uh, one heart. But does kind of have a uh, squagga suit with that ring of protection. Going to check purple chest here and finds their own ring of peace. Is going to pick that up and move on through zone four. All right, let's get that replay of uh, Trevor's death here in. Goes down the trap door and starts opening up a lot of walls with the miner's cap and just gets a little too many enemies aggroed. That 
it's gonna be the early death goof with the advantage here finding a uh, transmog shop gonna find the blast helm and probably a better shovel don't want that blood shovel not on one heart gonna settle for the combat and uh, move on to four one still on that one heart though So not completely safe, but can slow play this a lot more than uh, he was doing. Especially in zone two, you saw Goof uh, taking a lot of damage there to try to speed along uh, the seed. And there's that ring of peace changing all the mini bosses for Goof as well this time, getting an easy green dragon. And down to four, three. Trevor has made their way back down to the zone one boss. This time it looks like Trevor did kill the blood shopkeep as he has the blood drum as well. There's the earth spell. Looks like Trevor's going for uh, the goof build here. Or a build similar to what goof had. Goof not having luck, uh, not going to take any chances with those uh, black bats flying around there. We're getting confused by some golems and goo. Never a good time. Going to use the earth spell to take out that blade master. And should be clear to enter the zone 4 boss fight, which is going to be fortissimal. The unholy moly. Now, Trevor down to have heart does have that uh, potion though, so kind of deceiving with the health there. But he's gonna find that axe shop again. Gonna get all the items here. Goof just taking out a Fortissimo there, not going for the flawless, doesn't need to. Already has the build he needs. We'll be going down through zone five. So we're gonna go back and get that ring of peace. Hopping on that gi to take out these dragons and then moving on. Really optimal uh, kill there of all those dragons. It was really nice. And Goof switching off to uh, the Blood Long Sword here, trying to regenerate some health. Does have the time to do this. Zone 5 is actually really nice with blood weapons because you stand on the conduit and then everything dies, and all of a sudden you've healed an entire heart because, uh, especially with these skulls. So I like that switch out by Goof, being extra safe here. And that's a uh, really good build awareness to go along with uh, where your where your opponent is. Still going through zone three, Goof has a lot of time to spend here and regen enough health, make sure that uh, Dead Ringer is completed without uh, damage, and we don't have to worry in the Necker Dancer fight. But Trevor's already on the zone three boss. Going for King Kanga here. Trying to get an Earth Zuma strat. Down to half a heart, though. Looks like they used a potion somewhere. I thought he still had a potion, but that is not the case. So having to slow down a little bit here. Make sure this is in order. Does finally get that Earth kill. Down to zone four. A food shop for Goof. So that's a real good find. Going to get lots of health back here. Going to use the Fireball strat. Take out the uh, shopkeeper. Using a defensive earth spell to make sure we get a nice lined up shot on that metronome and uh, Goof is down to dead ringer. We have a left side spawn. Looks like some lure strats here. Oh, nope. I forgot he had earth. <laughs> Welcome to earth. Oh, this is a little off the rails, but worked just fine. Looks like Goof used uh, the battle shovel to finish off dead ringer. Oh, and Trevor going down again, jumping into a warlock and skeleton combo. But Goof just says the Necker Dancer fight shouldn't have any problems through this fight. Goof is very experienced racing this game. No pressure from their opponent, should be able to take it nice and easy. Two more hits on that Necker Dancer. One more. There it is. Goof taking the first loot of this match. GG.
And once again, the difference being made in this race from that uh, Trevor death in zone three. Get another look at it here. Pushing a little too hard. Probably could have went down there instead of to the right, releasing that Black Knight that uh, ended up taking him out. But it's hard to uh, think from beat to beat <laughs> and dealing with swarms. But our racers do have the option to take a small break in between uh, races here. Collect themselves, move around, get some water, talk about the last seed, what happened, all those things. There are actually a lot more races today. Oh, we're going. Um, I can put the schedule in chat for everyone. But we'll get this next race underway. There is a stack of bombs, plus a black chest on 1-1 one, one here. The titanium dagger, so a nice little upgrade. Probably won't take that through the entire seed, but it's nice in zone 1. Another bomb as well, so a solid start of 5 bombs. We might see Trevor use one to blow up the barrel here. Finds a ring of shadows. I think we'll leave that behind. Um, Goof's gonna check it out too, but uh, that ring by itself can be very risky and it looks like Goof is gonna take that risk And it's probably gonna pay off because there's an immediate blood shop here and uh, Trevor's gonna have to kill for it where Goof can just take everything So Trevor will have the advantage of uh, the blood drum uh, And Goof might actually be using Trevor's minimap here to see where to go That'd be some super heads up RTMP strats because uh, with this Ring of Darkness, it's really hard to tell which way you have to go. And it looks like Goof is doing that because uh, beelines for that trap door. This is a really exciting uh, racing play by Goof here, taking that ring. We'll be looking to get off of it as soon as possible though because like I said, it's difficult mapping, especially if Trevor is able to pull away. Goof will have to be essentially playing Necrodancer and watching ne Necrodancer at the same time. But flawless victory for Trevor. Going to be checking the black chest here. It has a blood cutlass in it. It's an interesting weapon to find there. But going to keep Old Faithful, the titanium longsword, which we got from the blood shop. Goof, yeah, Goof checking that purple chest. Really wanted to get off that ring and finds a pretty nice one, the ring of war. So plus one damage and some knockback. But Trevor's going to find... The ring of peace here so uh war versus peace and goof is going to uh blow up that peace shrine and get a jewel dagger so i believe that's a six damage dagger with knockback it's pretty nice a one shot almost everything and what's nice about having a dagger uh throughout a seed is it allows you to scoot past swarms of enemies you can find your gap and uh, get to the stairs. But Trevor already done with the Zone 2 boss, Death Metal. Getting a flawless victory. Checking the purple chest for a heal spell. That's a really good find. Going to be able to start using health as uh, currency for speed. Goof getting the flawless victory as well. It's going to pick up the heal spell. And Goof actually had picked up the circlet earlier, so that's going to give him uh, a little bit of mapping. It doesn't give, like, uh, the actual map. You'll see in the mini-map all the red dots will uh, appear. That's all the enemies on the floor. And with that, Goof is able to tell where the exit is. He's going to check the conjure shop on 3-3. Three, three. Trevor's going to do the same. We're going to buy some armor. And uh, boots for Goof. Going to get those boots, uh, lead boots. So Trevor went for a shovel and got the shovel of courage. So really good find. And here's where Trevor needs to be keeping an eye on where Goof is going. Because um, Goof is uh, taking over the lead. And will be going right to the exits. Goof's going to check the shop here real quick. Has a... Uh, a drumstick in it, but Goof does not have a lot of money here after using uh, the transmute shop or conjure shop. Goof down to your zone three boss first. It's going to be Core Riff. Trevor is closely behind. 
Looks like we'll have to use a bomb here for Goof. Get him off the top line. And then that Jewel Dagger should take it out. Yeah, getting a throw and uh, getting the false victory. Thought about leaving the dagger behind, but um, isn't going to risk the black chest here. Goes back to pick up the dagger. A small time loss there, but can make the difference. And uh, the black chest is an obsidian broadsword. Um, both of our racers checking that and passing on it. And down to 4 1, keeping this race close. Goof's going to go through the middle of the floor while Trevor took a up and right route. Looks like Goof's having to deal with quite the bigger swarm, though. Um, getting held up quite a bit as Trevor's able to take over the lead and head down to 4-2 first. An arena here on 4-2. Trevor's going to pick up the grenade charm. Um, I do like that pickup. I imagine Goof's... Oh, there's the variance from uh, Ring of Peace, or the Shrine of Peace destruction. So no grenade charm for Goof. And Trevor took a telemonkey all the way to uh, the shop, which is right next to the exit. So making up a lot of time there and down to 4-3. Looks like Goof switched over to a titanium cat. A little awkward with the Ring of War, but um, this is a move attack weapon, unlike the dagger, so I can understand the switch out. Trevor's getting in a little bit of a swarm here, though. Uh, is down. Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to be able to get out of that. But uh, another death by Trevor pushing a little too hard. I think Trevor had the control there to uh, control the rest of this race. If they just would have taken out that... Uh, Mini boss room a little less aggressively. But this is going to leave it open for Goof, who is now putting on some breaks here, going pretty slow play. Uh, has only half a heart, though, so needs to keep an eye out on what's going on. Does have that heal spell, which they just use. And we'll be down to the zone four boss. It's going to be deep blues. be a relatively simple fight we might see goof take out the entire chest piece here though um actually he needs to so yeah we'll see that but uh this will regen the health the health the heal spell so we'll get an extra heal on this floor checking the red chest finds a infernal torch gonna leave it gonna pick it up and take it along and into zone five We see Trevor picking up the uh, ring this time. Looks Trevor, like Trevor took some hits though and didn't steal from the blood shop keep, but should be getting that ring of war out of the purple chest. That is a big uh, scrambled egg that Goof just took out. <laughs> And Goof finding out uh, the Crown of Thorns as well, so a lot of healing for Goof again in Zone 5. And another death by Trevor there. Looks like got taken out by a... Uh, I think that was a ma uh, mosh pit. We're going to get a full reset over on Trevor's side. <laughs> Resetting that RNG of the game. Bring a piece for Goof. Even more hearts to fill up and heal on. And the final uh, zone of this seed, Goof on 5-3. To that dead ringer fight gonna have a left side spawn here looks like goof might just do lure strats that's kind of what it's looking like here yep nice and simple super safe assuming you do it correctly <laughs> and there's gonna be the flawless victory we'll see goof check the chests 
as uh, Trevor's not going to restart the seed. Full health onto the Necker Dancer fight. And it looks like Goof only had one bomb, so I have to do some, like, all the butt puzzles here. <laughs> oh, it has two bombs. Okay, so half the butt puzzles. Give that big T stage with that walkway or runway for the uh, single turnip. <laughs> Necker Dancer at half health. One more hit, and we'll be on to the final race of this match. There it is. Goof taking this one. Still sub 10, 956 race time. GG. Once again, Trevor going down uh, to a swarm in zone four here. Pushing a little hard with the shovel of courage. Literally puts himself in a corner. And uh, just gets swarmed here. Taken out. But like I said, there are a lot more races today. Um, we do have Miantics for Sean P. Wolf. Uh, in about two hours, they'll be over on Chris's channel. Biggie Mac versus Squega. That will be uh, uh, an hour after the next race. And then that's on Goof's channel, Disgruntled Goof. And then an hour after, or at the same time, it's Wonder J versus Chef Mayhem. So plenty more races to catch today. And here's the last race of this match between Trevor and Disgruntled Goof. Early stack of bombs. Nice find. Goof going to use one to take out that green dragon and moving on to 1-2. Early trap doors on 1-2. Looks like both of our racers are taking them. Ooh, Trevor saw a uh, black chest before uh, falling down there, though. Going to miss out on that 1-2 black chest. But knows where it is. Ooh, Trevor's going to leave uh, that Minotaur behind. Finds the 1-3 black chest. It's an Obsidian Axe. Uh, Goof's going to get that, too, though, so... Uh, Trevor can't be too happy seeing it. That's kind of uh, the double-edged uh, axe, if you will, is you know your opponent's going to get it as well if it's in a, a natural chest like that. But Core Riff, your first Zone 1 boss. Trevor going to get that flawless victory. And we'll be checking Purple Chest here for... I don't know, Ring of Courage sounds fun. Let's do that. Dang it, Ring of Gold. <laughs> All right, not a great item, but we can transmute it. Glass shop on 2-1. Trevor's going to upgrade with that uh, glass shovel and get a glass armor. I believe Goof will do the same. No love for the glass whip. And uh, explorer boots on the 1-3... Uh, one, uh, one, what is this? 2-1 <laughs> shop. Chest. It's a chest. And we're going to see both racers push this build pretty quickly. Um, it's probably going to be pushed to another death. As we see uh, Trevor just jumping into that nightmare, breaking their glass armor again. But Trevor is down to 2-3 first. Sees a blood shrine here. Is going to use a bomb to get that ring of regen, I would imagine. Finds shopkeep bro as well. So has uh, options for healing here, which is good. And Goof is doing the same. We'll be headed to that zone two boss. Oh, Goof went down. I did not see that death. We'll get a replay on it in a sec here after Trevor's uh, boss victory here. Goof gets the ring. Purple chest check for Trevor. Get some pulse spell or uh, tome. Oh, looks like a wind spell. Ooh. Wind spell and then a swarm. Unfortunate uh, swarm <laughs> for Goof. And uh, like I mentioned, both of our racers pushing this build until that death. And now you're going to see Trevor. Trevor could actually still push this build a little bit. Um, is going to check shops here for the additional hearts. 
Um, a little more healing or some armor, but uh, Goof is going to be coming pretty quick uh, back with this uh, Obsidian Axe. So Trevor might actually just push it a little bit here. Finds a potion on, what is this, 3-3? Three, three. Going to use the blood, uh, blood Shovel to open it up. And Goof's almost back to where he uh, had a death. Trevor trying to check uh, as many shops as he can here. Trying to find that armor, but does not find any. Is down into your zone three boss. Did find a pulse spell though, so really good use of that, taking out the trap doors. Using a pulse spell to finish off deep blues, and uh, we'll be checking, I imagine, the purple chest here. It's a bomb spell. So here's where Goof uh, perished earlier. Now taking out a lot. It looks like he went straight up for that Wind Mage. Took him out before uh, aggroing the Minotaur. <laughs> I like it. Trevor finding a uh, barrel room here on a 4-1. Gonna get a quick heal, but it's gonna take those Pulse Tomes along. Falls victory on the Death Metal fight for Goof. Goof might just be going down the stairs here. Yep, he does, into zone three. Looking to play some catch up. Like Trevor took a telemonkey or had a crown of something there, but got teleported back to uh, a crown teleportation is what it's called. I teleported back to the shop, but is on to four two. Using that pulse spell to take out blade masters. That's why I like to see uh, racers using their uh, spells to take out those also oh annoying enemies. And Trevor doing some more slow play here, checking the shop. Still has a uh, comfortable enough lead here, but Goof is pushing back. Is on through. Just broke their shovel though. Got clapped. It looked like. Ring of mana over on four two, but uh, Trevor's gonna leave it behind. That ring of regen is way too valuable. And Goof is down on that zone three boss. So making their way back to, or making their way to zone four in almost three minutes. It's pretty quick. So Trevor is. Gonna start feeling that burn when they look over on uh, their opponent's side and sees the purple floor of zone four. You see Trevor there just using that shovel to get through this level. Not gonna go around on all these walls. And this is kind of a big swarm in this uh, mini boss room here as well. Trevor's gonna have to take this carefully, but does manage to get it done. We'll be on to your zone four boss. It's gonna be Fortissimal. Gonna get him off the stage. Couple hits and we'll get him down. Oh, he uses the pulse spell, really well done. And skipping those boss chests down to zone five. Trevor's looking to get this uh, one point at least off of Goof. Looks like they should be able to do it. Pending nothing terrible happening in zone five or Dead Ringer or the rest of the seed, I guess. Red Dragon lining up horizontally on Trevor, but is no problem. And we headed down to 5-3. And straight to the exit, we're going to be on to this Dead Ringer fight in a few seconds here. Just as Goof gets down to the Zone 4 boss, Trevor maintaining that lead. It's a right side spawn, so easy left side scoots. And a good pulse by Trevor to take out that sarcophagus. Gets the flawless victory down to that Necrodancer fight. Right, Goof is pushing back, is on 5 2. <laughs> it's quite a really impressive pushback by Goof. But Trevor only at half health on the Necrodancer. Two more hits and we'll be done with this match between Trevor and Disgruntled Goof. And there it is. Trevor going to take the last loot of the match. Really well done. That's going to be it for Goof. Let's get one more look at that death. So three deaths, one in each race here. Being the real deciding factor on uh, who ended up taking away the loots. All right, let's catch the end of this uh, 
Looks like Goof's gonna go for a really quick time. Sub six to uh, Necrodancer fight. Like he's trying to end out making a statement here that he can go fast. We already knew we could go fast. <laughs> But that infamous sub six doesn't look like we'll be getting it this time. Getting some bad lures here, unfortunately, as well. But down to one more hit, and Goof is going to complete this seed as well. GG. All right, that's going to be it for this match. Like I said, there are a lot more races.